My name is Thomas Foster and this is a short video of a tutorial series on Ableton 10.1. Today we want to talk about automation. The automation of Ableton Live is a powerful tool that you really can do a lot with. And with the new update 10.1 came here even extremely exciting new features. In this video I show you everything you need to know about the automation. So have fun. Alright, we find the automation here with these two dots with the line between. Uh, at the moment it's blue, the automation is active and you see here a red line. The first automation we want to do is for the level. So we move on the level so we automatically see the red line is moving. So let's go back to 0 dB and now I click here to set here a point. And now I click here again and move this point down to zero and immediately we made a fade in. Let's click here again to make a fade out. Fine. Sometimes we want to make a curve to make it sounding more interesting. We click the option key and go to this line and now we click and move this line and we see how we're doing a curve. And we can set as many points as we want to make the automation somehow interesting with a lot of lines and give them some curves. But there's a much better way to make interesting stuff, especially if you want to have it rhythmically. So let's take a reverb on this track. Let's erase these points by clicking on them. All right. And let's listen to this. I don't want the reverb the whole time. So what I do, I make an automation for the dry, wet knob. So if it's on the left side, it's dry without reverb. And on the right side, we have a lot of reverb. Now we could do it the same way we made the level automation, like this. But the more interesting thing is to use a pencil. Here you see the pencil and if you click on it, the mouse looks like a pencil. And now we can use some extra points to bring in some reverb. Let's make it here and here. So we can make rhythmic stuff, for example, like this. Very nice. And if we click now again on the pencil, we get these points again. And now we can move these points. You see how powerful this is and how you can change your sound. Maybe we want to add a filter. So let's add a filter here. And now we want to move the frequency. Uh, normally it should be on the right side. So it sounds like this. The last thing we have to move is the frequency. So we know here we can make the automation for the auto filter the frequency. And now at some points, we want to bring it down. I make a point here and here, and now I bring it down to here. Does not sound so nice. Let's try it the other way. That's nice.
Also here we could work with a pencil. So maybe we want to work now on the dry wet and on the filter at the same time and we want to see them at the same time. For this we can use this plus here. At the moment you click the plus, the automation of the frequency is going into a ne the next line. Let's do this. Alright, here is now the automation of the frequency. Now I click on the reverb button to see the automation of the reverb. And I click the plus button to give it a separate line. And now I click on the level. So now I see the track volume, the level of my track here. I see the reverb, dry, wet and the filter. And I can work at the same time on all three. So maybe we figure out the level, the volume of the reverb is too much. The dry wet is too high, too wet. So what we do is we make a selection of the reverb dry wet automation. Let's zoom in a little bit. I close the browser window so we can see a little bit more. And now I go to the line somewhere that the line gets blue. And now I click and move the mouse down so the volume of the reverb goes down a little bit. This is also a great trick if you want to erase an automation or a part of the automation. You bring it to a new line and then you erase everything. So I click the plus to bring the volume into a new line. I make a selection and now I erase it here, also this point here. And we erase the automation for the filter and the reverb. So here's a powerful new feature that comes with 10.1. On the second track we have this wavetable synthesizer. Sounds nice, but we want to add a filter on this track and make an automation. For this filter. And yes, we could do it with the pencil like we did it before, like this. Nice, especially because it's in time with the beat. And now we could move it down and duplicate it. So with the plus, I brought it to a new line, and now we can duplicate this automation. But there's something new I want to show you. We make an automation over one bar. And now we click the control key on PC, the command key. And here we have the special shapes. Let's start with the first shape here. You see we get a very interesting automation for our filter. And if you move the mouse on top of this automation, you see six white points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's start with the middle one. We can move the whole line down a little bit. Uh, or we can go to the lower middle knob or point and move it up a little bit. For sure we can make it faster if we go to this white point. Let's make it a half bar. Let's duplicate it with command D. Let's take this, make a selection of this one here and make it much faster and duplicate it again. Yeah. 
Let's make a selection of the fast movement here. And now let's take the left point to create something like a fade in. Now we have to go down a little bit with this point here. And up with the right point. And now we have something like a fade in automation in time. There are other movements as well. Let's delete it and click again with the control key and let's try something like this. But maybe we make it a little bit smaller. So we make a selection and make it smaller like this and duplicate it again. And also here we make a selection and make something like a fade in. That's a little bit too low I would say. Let's go up again and here we also go up again. And maybe we make everything a little bit faster. So we make it double time again. You see the automation is a very powerful tool and it's really fun to work with. My name is Thomas Foster. Please write me in the comments what you think about this video and let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. Always stay creative. Cheers! My name is Thomas Foster and if you like producing music then you probably need regular audio loops. So good sounding drum loops, percussion, guitar, vocal and many other samples. And there is a new exciting web page I am involved in developing, Mutant.com. Mutant is a search engine for audio loops and samples. The stuff sounds really great and is well produced and mastered. The incredible thing is that all thought Mutant actually sees itself as a web shop, at the moment almost all sounds are free. You do not have to enter an email address, just go to mutant.com, search for the desired audio file and click download. And it's really fun to work with. At that point I say thank you for being there, always stay creative, cheers! Mm -hmm.